Jiu-Jitsu is one of the most popular forms of combat sports in the U.S., but for Red Lodge resident Timothy Ellinger, owner of Grindhouse Jiu-Jitsu behind me, it's a way of life. My head against his, his chest, I go forward and do a back step. Tim Ellinger lives and breathes the sport of Jiu-Jitsu. The 25-year-old currently owns Grindhouse Jiu-Jitsu in Red Lodge. But his interest in the sport was something that developed over time, and he believes it all began in high school, although he didn't know it at the time. I got picked on a lot when I was a kid, you know, and in high school, I got beat up in front of uh, God and everybody in the art room, and I started wrestling because I, I just wanted to leg up, you know, I wanted to learn how to defend myself. That moment lit a fire in Ellinger and started him down a path he's on today. Wrestling led him to MMA fighting, but when he was 20 years old, a tragedy changed the trajectory of his life. In college, I actually, I went blind in my left eye. I was in a shooting accident and went blind. And so I had to quit doing MMA and really started to get into jujitsu because it was really my only outlet. And that's been a theme throughout Ellinger's life, turning adversity into a strength. Losing sight in an eye is something most of us wouldn't wish on anyone, but Ellinger says he wouldn't change a thing. It came with its challenges, but it also made me stronger because I know I can get through something as, as, as difficult as losing an eye, you know, and come out the other side, you know, and still do what I love and, and still teach my students. His focus is now on teaching and competing, and it's what just recently led him to Las Vegas, where he represented his gym in the Submission Fighting Championship. You have to be invited to it. So if you're invited to this tournament, it means you're like one of the best in the world. And so part of the tournament that I did was just in pursuit of being best in the world. Ellinger won three of his four matches, placing eighth out of more than 70 competitors in his weight class. An incredible feat, but the accolades aren't why he does it. And he's catching me with his feet. For him, it's all about overcoming challenges. And now, through his gym, passing what he's learned down to his students. The more people know how to defend themselves, the less bullying we have, the less violence we have. I couldn't imagine myself in any other circumstances is what I want to do for sure. In Red Lodge, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.